for Sanchez. And a ground ball to third. Gobbled up by Kiner Falefa. Dalton Varsho, the native of Marshfield, Wisconsin, playing here in Milwaukee. That's a fair ball off the bat of Dalton Varsho. Down towards the corner, Churio's got it. Varsho on his way to second, and he's in there with a double. A look at the young pitcher here now, and he gets his off-speed pitch down in the zone, and that's where Dalton likes it, and he barrels it just inside the line. Here's Justin Turner, as you saw off the top in the top of the first. Turner quietly has been moving in the right direction lately. Seven for his last 15 with three walks in there as well. That's a base hit in the left. Varsho's got to be held at third. He had to make sure it would get over Adamas into the outfield. So the Blue Jays have runners on the corners. They have two on with one out, and here's George Springer. Swung on, and that's a base hit into right center. Varsho will score. Turner up to second, and Springer has given the Blue Jays a one to nothing lead. That's what the Blue Jays lineup wanted to do against a young man making his major league debut is to strike first. Brewers catch a break. Two on, nobody out. Corners playing up for Bryce Terang. And he struck him out on a 97 mile an hour fastball. Two outs. And a bouncer to short. Bichette's got it. Throw to Horwitz just in time. Now Bo Bichette, who struck out his first time up. Lined into right, and that's a base hit. And the Blue Jays have the bases loaded with one out. And a breaking ball throws him, and he gets him for out number two. And there's two down now for Blake Perkins. Got him. And now here is the leadoff man, Spencer Horwitz. Swing and a liner, right center field, down for a base hit. IKF around third, he'll score without a throw. RBI single, Spencer Horwitz, 2 nothing Blue Jay lead. Horwitz reached down for a curveball low of the zone and got enough of it to shoot it into right to double the Toronto lead. That was at Philly. And a ground ball, that's a fair ball, way from behind third, and the ball is in and out of the mid of Hoskins. Monasterio got it there in time, but Hoskins couldn't squeeze it, and Jansen is safe. Navigated through some serious traffic as Kikuchi, after he had first and second, one away in the third, tired everybody since. It's hit in the air, center field. Playable for Kiermeyer, who started back, races in, and makes a two-handed catch to end the inning. He's dealt with some trouble, but five scoreless for Yusei Kikuchi. Next Next pitch is hit in the air, left center field. Schneider charging in, dives and makes the catch. How do you like that? Davis Schneider in his first inning off the bench makes a full stretch play, and it's a six pitch. One, two, three, seventh for Chad Green. Way up in the air to right field. Springer coming over near the line, makes the catch, and the runners will hold. Off the bench. In the air to left field, right at Schneider. And he'll make the catch, two down. Swing and a miss, strike three. Got him on the curve. Garcia puts down Perkins and ends the inning. The tying runs left in scoring position. We go to the ninth, two nothing Blue Jays. So fielder's choice, Schneider at first, two down. Paredes will stay to face Horwitz. And ball four. So Horwitz to first, Schneider up to second. Jansen coming up. Slams it to left. Schneider is going to come in to score. Horowitz is on his way around to third, an RBI double for Danny Jansen, and there's an add-on run. Right on cue, Danny Jansen adds on for the Blue Jays, and those are big runs late in a ball game. It just gives your relief pitchers a little bit of breathing room when you're trying to put the opponent away. The Blue Jays a strike away. That's the save for Garcia. He strikes out three of the four he faces, and the Blue Jays shut out the Brewers to even up this series. 3-0 the final score.